What's up? It's Chris, the Drone Geek, and welcome to another edition of Let's Talk Drones. Today, we are talking about a recent leak reported by DroneXL.com of a supposed sketch of the Mavic 3. Now, DroneXL claims that a DJI insider gave them the sketch and some details about what we might be able to expect from this newest version of the Mavic 3. I really like DroneXL. I get on there a lot to see different news articles, to see what the rumors and the buzz are for each category of drone. And overall, it's just a really nice website that I visit a lot. But this particular leak, felt a little bit weird for me. Now, I, I know that I was one of the people that got on and made a video on YouTube and talked about the last leak of the Mavic 3 drawings, and I was wrong. It didn't come out in 2020, it didn't come out in 2021, and the sketch that I actually shared isn't gonna be the one that's put out at all, apparently. So I know that I'm just as guilty of perpetuating these rumors and getting this hype and this buzz behind the Mavic 3 train all worked up, but again, this one just feels maybe like I should take it with a bit of cautious optimism. And that's the only way I can help feeling. Now, before we talk more about my thoughts and feelings on this reported leak, let's talk a little bit about the sketch that was provided to Drone XL because we do know for a fact that a DJI insider gave them this sketch. I don't think they would report it if that wasn't true. So let's go ahead and take a look at that now. First, in the sketch, you'll see that the drone in question has a body much like the Mavic Air 2. There's also some notes here that are gonna coincide with what I'm about to tell you about this sketch, so just stick with me and read those as we go along. It looks aerodynamic as <laughs> Look at the curves on this body. It is sexy. But that's about all you can see. There are some other slight changes you can see in the sketch, including the upward obstacle sensor moving to the front of the drone and a back-loaded battery, much more in line with the likes of the Phantom series or the Mini Drone series. However, the biggest difference between the conceptualized drone, the Air 2, and the Mavic 2 Pro is the camera. This thing looks like a monster. Could it be that we might have a full frame sensor for the first time on a prosumer drone? If so, we could be looking at a real game changer here when it comes to getting true cinema grade footage from a prosumer level drone. And that's all the information I have to go on, but if the sketch that Drone XL released is legit, this could be a blockbuster release from DJI when the time comes. Especially since DJI is a company that's largely been ignoring its pro consumer drone lines for the past two to three years. There haven't been any major upgrades to the Mavic series, the Phantom series, or the Inspire series. Now, how soon can we expect the Mavic 3? I know that's the first question anytime anybody sees any kind of a leak or any kind of new information on the Mavic 3 or the Phantom 5 or whatever the drone might be. According to the DJI Insider that's working with Drone XL, we won't be seeing the Mavic 3 until about 2022, which is sad. Oh, sad times. What a buzzkill. But the good news is, in the meantime, the same DJI Insider said that we can expect the DJI Mavic Air 2S to fill the void. Yippee. Now, don't get me wrong. The Air 2 is a fine piece of aerial imaging equipment. I just don't think it packs the same punch as maybe the Phantom or the Mavic line or even the Inspire series. It really does well for what it has on board, but overall I'd classify it as somewhere between an entry level drone like the Mini Drones and a prosumer level drone more like the Mavic series and the Phantoms, you get the picture. Now, the rumor coming with the Air 2S is that it will have a one inch CMOS sensor, which will bring it up a notch in terms of the argument as to whether or not it's a piece of professional aerial imaging equipment. Once it has that one inch sensor, I would certainly lean it more towards the pros tumor level side of things, but I still stand by the fact that I don't think the Air has quite the punch that the Mavic 2 Pro, the Phantom 4 version 2, and of course, the Inspire 2 have to offer. I think, as alluded to earlier, DJI 
DJI has been falling behind when it comes to prosumer level drones. You've had companies like Autel and especially Skydio closing the gap over the past two or three years in a variety of different ways, and it seems like DJI has been all but ignoring its prosumer drones. It's been focusing more on those entry level market drones like the mini drones and even the air drone, depending upon where you stand in that argument. It just feels like they've been leaning on the Mavic 2 Pro, the Phantom 4 version 2, and the Inspire 2 for the past two or three years, and we've all sort of been waiting for the next iteration of those drone lines, especially me, who's been waiting on the Inspire 3 for years. DJI, baby, my bank account is full, and it is waiting for you to drop the latest Inspire. You can have my money as soon as it's out. I just need you to put it on the market. Now, being a DJI fanboy myself, I am excited to see DJI potentially getting itself off the ropes in this triple threat fight with Autel and Skydio by releasing the Mavic 3. I think that the Mavic line of drones is DJI's best bet in fighting back against the companies like Autel and Skydio because that foldable body seems to be what's popular with a much wider audience. On that note, there have been rumors also on the heels of the release of the Mavic 3 that DJI is going to phase out its Phantom and Inspire series, which I think is total bunk. Is it possible? Yeah, anything's possible. But is it probable? I think not. The Phantom is DJI's flagship drone. Without that, DJI does not know the success that it currently knows today. And the Inspire is an affordable aerial imaging option for cinematographers on a budget. Yeah, it's more expensive than the Mavic and the Phantom, but it delivers that high-grade cinematic quality footage that you just can't get out of a prosumer level drone for a reasonable price, all things considered. I just don't see the sense in phasing out the flagship drone and DJI's only option for an affordable cinema grade drone. Not to get off topic, this video was about the Mavic 3 sketch that was released to Drone XL by a DJI insider, and all I can say is to summarize everything that I've said in this video, I'm waiting with cautious optimism. If it comes out in 2022, great. I'm so excited, and you can bet that if it has the upgrades that this DJI insider is reporting, I'm going to be going to buy the Mavic 3 as long as it's in the budget as soon as it drops. And if it doesn't release in 2022, well, back to square one. We just go back to the Mavic 2 Pro, lean on that for a little while longer while we make more errors and minis and just see what happens. But what do you think? Do you think the Mavic 3 is coming out in 2022? Will it come out sooner? Maybe later? Let me know in the comments below. And while you're down there, hit that like button as well. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. We are still on the quest to 1,000 subscribers and I can't do it without your help. So if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button now. And if you have, share this video with two of your drone friends and have them share it with two of their drone friends and so on and so forth. And eventually we'll get to 1,000 subscribers, no problem. Until next time, I'm Chris, the Drone Geek, and I am out of here.